So I'm now in uh, Trinidad, landed yesterday, drove in, in the rush hour, uh, found my hotel, settling in. Um, it's a bit complicated because even though lockdowns apparently ended and curfews apparently ended, it's still very much in um, sort of lockdown mode. Lots of things are closed, restaurants closed, shops have funny opening hours and closing hours anyway. The malls seem to open very late and close very early, so it just makes everything, uh, well, you, you have to get yourself organised. So, uh, nice gardens in this hotel. I think it's the rain and the sun that does it. This is the savannah, a big open green space in the middle of Port of Spain, the capital of Trinidad. Um, I suspect, as a Saturday afternoon, I suspect if it wasn't Covid, this would probably be packed. And there are juice sellers, if you see, along the side of the road, expecting the crowds that haven't actually come. Those two up there are selling coconut drinks. My uh, guide was telling me about that. So the squeezed juice out of coconuts. I'll have one of those a little bit later, I think. So this is the savannah, and then looking up to the far corner, that's the uh, botanical gardens, which I shall visit a little bit later. And this is the savannah, as seen from the other side. Unfortunately, there's always road noise in the background. There's a road that goes all the way around. This is the heart of the city after all said and done, so I suppose road, uh, cars have to have a road to travel on. Um, and they jokingly call it locally the world's largest uh, roundabout. And it is, it's a roundabout. Three lanes all the way around. So this is one of the entrances to the botanical gardens and as you see it's closed. As uh, I can see from here, some very fine trees and a lovely little gazebo over there, which I'll take a closer photo of. Very nice, and I assume that's the President's Palace. And up on the hill, that uh, whitish building or cream, that is um, Brian Lara's home. All of you cricket fans will know what uh, who uh, Brian Lara is. A pretty fabulous batsman. So let's see if I can get closer for a photo. It's a bit like a Hard Rock Cafe, isn't it? Style and everything, but the music's not as loud. And I think the food's going to be a lot better. I'm having um, Vietnamese shrimp rolls and uh, fettuccine with uh, crab and uh, shrimps. And this is the starter, and I told the guy, do you really expect me to eat a main after this? This is huge. Vietnamese spring rolls. Still in Port of Spain in Trinidad. These are the suburbs of Port of Spain, where some very nice houses and gardens and pools. This is the back garden of my hotel, the Kiskadi Corner, and it's very quiet even though it's quite near to main roads. And yeah, you could call it central. Up there on the hills, rich people's houses, one of which is, I've been told, Brian Lara, the cricketer, very famous cricketer. There's some very nice streets near the hotel. Very green, large, uh, I would call them mansions. Of course, the best mansions are the ones that are uh, alongside the uh, alongside the savannah, one of which I just found out is the American Embassy. Wouldn't surprise me if the others aren't either. Embassies, I mean. Um, yes, I need to check that out. But there's no labelling. You can't tell from outside what it is. It's just that I read it somewhere. Oh, Google Maps, yes. This is the Royal Botanic Gardens. 
unfortunately still within the uh, sound of uh, traffic on the main road. Lots of exotic trees and plants and bushes here. The uh, Victorians were absolutely crackers about uh, fauna and flora, particularly flora, so they just collected seeds and uh, cuttings wherever they went. Uh, a lot of them ended up in queue in London, of course, which I must revisit now. Um, and everywhere you go where the British were, there is a botanical garden. In India, even in the tiniest little uh, town, uh, there's a botanical garden that's been planted. And well worth a visit, although generally, and I would almost say this, uh, about this place, uh, rather neglected, which is such a, such a pity. But um, if money's scarce, you you uh, are more interested in putting things on people's tables rather than uh, rather than um, what is really a little bit of an extravagance. The Victorians have got the money; we don't have it nowadays. But this is this is quite fine. I'm getting away from the traffic noise now, apart from the fact that even though this is a park, there's a car coming up behind me, and there's even a graveyard here. General of the Colony, Chantrell. William Rowland, not names I've ever heard of. They were obviously very important people, Corrie. And these do seem still taken care of. Clifford, McNamara, so all parts of the British Isles. And this is, uh, uh, no, it hasn't got a name. Oh, Lucien Dice. Sounds rather German, doesn't it? Pleasant, Harry Fa Harriet Fowler. Died, oh, very recently. 41. Uh, Trinidad became independent, in, if I remember right, in the 70s. This tree is from India, like uh, a lot of the others, Madagascar. But of course, plenty of locals as well. I guess most of the palm trees are local. Beautiful park. And uh, I think I left it a little bit too late. It's starting to get very hot now. Native. Common name, West Indies Cherry. Whoa. Oh, very interesting. Don't see the President's Palace yet. That was probably the one that I saw from the road yesterday. Still in the Botanical Garden, there is the, there is the uh, President's Palace, which I think was a private house previously, or maybe the Governor's House. And behind that, the hills, the uh, tropical rainforests are starting. And there are some really lovely trees here, my goodness me. And this idea of having gazebos, well, look at the date, 1899, is a very good one in the climate where it's massively hot all year, very humid. You need to walk 200 yards, sit down and have a rest in the shade, and that's what they are. And I suppose they're built in such a way that um, it encourages a draft inside. Very classy part of the uh, port of Spain. There's a very nice birds around here as well lovely yellow breasted one which I didn't manage to get a photo of I'll try again later manicured lawns bougainvillea lovely isn't it 